If you want to radically transform your life and take your health to the next level, click on my Breath is Life course below. This will optimize your breath as well as your meditation. And I'll see you after the video. So here we go. I'm with Toy Casey and we're gonna do some Sananga medicine. Psycho chicken. It's from the Amazon. So um What is it? Sananga? It's called Sananga, it's from the Amazon. What does it do? Um this is gonna help bring healing to your eyes. It's very detoxifying, it's gonna kind of open up and create more circulation through your head and your sinuses and uh, has a lot of other healing properties which I'll post to you. Yeah. Um, you can share with your friends. Yeah. It, it stings pretty gnarly. It's not normally my medicine, but of course if I get challenged on camera, I'll do it. But it's supposed to get the anger out too. And Lord knows we've got plenty of energy inside my human consciousness. <sighs> You know, people think anger is a bad thing, no. but if somebody's shitting in the waterways and putting toxic dumps all over the airways and ruining our soil, then maybe anger is a good thing. So I'm going to show you what this looks like too. So this is from the Center Daime Church. It was directly from the Amazon. She says it's a light dose. It better be. Stuff burns like hell. So you're just going to lean your head back and I want you to just open your eye with your fingers like that to each of your eyes. So just you drop it in the corner. I want to drop it in the corner. One. Open your eye. Just drop it in the corner. My turn. Shit. So one drop in each eye. Whoa. So it's like a deep meditation. You can do eye exercises, circles, and stretch out the eyes. Flushes the eyes. Uh, only work with a skilled practitioner with this. Uh, So I can really have my sinuses open and <sighs> when you tune in, you can really feel the tingling throughout your face. So your eyes need cleansing and detox if you think of all the things your eyes are constantly exposed to. Well, the eyes take up most of your energy. Think about the environment. Uh, They're always purifying. Eyes and pollution. metabolism.
why you're supposed to close your eyes when you do silent meditation. More movement meditation. <sighs> So I find that um, it's much like the ice bath. If you resist it, it's going to be challenging and painful and discomforting. But if you relax into it, it's just another experience and kind of teaches you to surrender and focus on your breath and go in your center and relax and kind of go with the flow. Yeah. Yeah, I resist this one about a lot. But yeah, when I when I drop in like an ice bath, it's a different meditation. It's more peaceful. Mm -hmm. And I think after the the stinging and the cleansing phase kind of subsides, the stringent energy kind of dissipates. It's much like like doing rape where you feel this centering, grounding energy. And in some ceremonies, it's used to like cleanse your lens of perception and purify your perception. So it has a lot of spiritual principles as well to it. On a physical realm, it, it makes me want to do my eye exercises and stretch my eye because all the tracking on the electrical devices. I noticed as a kid, I, I had a habit of doing all sorts of eye exercises and movements. And did you do that as a kid, where you just made all sorts of funny faces with your eyes all the time, naturally? Well, my brother had uh, eye issues, and he went to an eye doctor. And I learned about eye exercises when I was a child. But recently, just helping my clients and helping myself as I age, I had eagle, eagle vision, perfect eyesight, beyond perfect eyesight for many years. And, it started to decline as I got a cell phone, a smartphone, and then uh, as I age, basically when, once I turned around 50. And I talked to an, uh, an eye doctor, an ophthalmologist on, on, the, on the plane one time. I sat next to him for hours, pumped him for all sorts of information. Basically, he says that the cornea dries out, but that's another reason why hydration is so important. Nutrition is so important. You wanna make sure that you're bringing in proper life, and then you live a detox lifestyle as well so that that toxicity doesn't build up in your tissues. All issues ultimately have to deal with clogged tubes because you are totally tubular dude. So <laughs> your veins, ventricles, cones, rods, retina, all those things are tubes, right? Intestines, tubes, blood vessels, tubes. And so basically most of our issues are about clogged tubes. So that's why living a cleanse and detox lifestyle is so important. So click the description link in my bio and do the cleanse all day, every day. Intermittent fasting, autophagy, ketosis. Let your body eat itself. Stop with the overconsumption, gluttony, lethargy, apathy. Live life. Do sananga. <laughs> Burn your eyeballs with Amazonian plant medicine. Fire. 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 Right? Like Beavis and Butthead. Fire. Fire. No substitute for a lifestyle of wellness, so we're living it. God bless. Bye. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and then check in the description box all the programs that I have to take your health and consciousness to the next level is in the link below.